is an arena we haven't been in before, so we, we've got no experience of it. And you know, from what we've seen today in, in some of these chaotic council meetings, it's you know, it's it's unknown. Um, but I think you know, it, as things develop, there will be there will come a, a sort of a practice that will will develop. A, a, back channels of communication between the political parties will begin to open up to deal with some of these potential log jams and they will I think largely be, be resolved outside of the council chambers and on the big decisions deals will, will be done to allow government to, to function effectively. I, I really don't believe that it's in the interest of any political parties to want to go back to the polls now, uh, to go back to the electorate. Just from the purely simple position of them not having the funds to be able to fight another election campaign. So it's highly unrealistic and I think with that in mind they will find ways of working together to, to, to produce viable councils even if it is uh, as a minority run council. In Parliament, uh, at a national level, I think again you're going to see a reflection of that in that the, the, the attitude of the political parties in Parliament uh, we'll, we'll take a cue from the message that was sent uh, from the electorate in the local government elections is that the electorate is de essentially demanding more accountability from their political leaders and I think that applies equally in Parliament as it does elsewhere. And certainly with the, with the view on the 2019 uh, national elections, parties are going to be uh, going to begin to behave in a different way perhaps than we've seen in the last two years. Okay. Look, I mean, I think uh, the, the Solim Simanga has a good relationship with the outgoing ANC mayor. Mm. Uh, you know, he seems to have a good relationship with, with everyone that he works with. So I think that that augurs well for the city of Swane, that they have a mayor in place that has the respect across the political spectrum. Uh, and hopefully he will be able to use that in order to get cogent policy uh, in council and to be able to um, ensure that he presides over an effective council. Mm. Credit must go to Park staff for, for running uh, Johannesburg very effectively and efficiently and I think he's put in place a very capable administrative team in the city of Joburg and uh, one would assume that the DA will not tinker with that administrative team too much and allow it to continue to do the work that it has done. Uh, and I think the ANC will, will, will need to play a role to, to support that, to ensure that the plans that they started putting in place continue to deliver. Uh, and you know, in that way, because if they were to adopt a different attitude towards disrupting service delivery, that's going to backfire on them uh, politically. The elections themselves were a fillip for South Africa, that we were able to run a very efficient election. The IEC ran a very good show. Uh, the political parties by and large accepted the results of these elections uh, willingly. The ANC conceded that it lost, the, you know, there, was, there were no issues around, <coughs> around the elections themselves. I think what uh, certainly uh, international investors and others that watch South Africa are going to be looking for is how does the ANC now respond? Uh, at a, in, and what impact does this have on the ANC's nas national political agenda? And th is that going to steer us away from um, from an economic abyss, or is it going to, or are we going to see more populist po policies being implemented, throwing money at the problem, as it were, mm -hmm. and leading us into into further debt and uh, an economic slide?